Hey guys, Gothing Magic back again. Another daily Glint store buy video. So today we're going to start on my third account. I've got 805 Glint, so let's head to the shop. So we're going to pick up five common draws. And then the Guild Brawls ended today, so I think I have enough for a Gladius case. So we'll open that next. See if we can get lucky. It's been a while since we've gotten uh, any gold cards on any of my accounts, so let's see if we can break the streak and at least get a gold common. So we've got an explorer, trader, another trader, third trader, and skink. So let's take a look at the cards. Take a look at the commons. So we have five traders. So now level that to level two. So once again, for this account, I only need level three cards for commons. And then we'll just concentrate on the rares. Okay, so we need one more of the Explorer. We can get that to level three. Looks like just about everything else is two. We need one more conscript, one more skink, so we're getting there. Let's head on over to the shop. Go to the guild. Oh, just short of two. Let's look at one case. So tomorrow what I might do is I might get a uh, one of the merit draws to get 200, and that will allow me to get another Gladius case. So I think I'm just short. Yeah, I've got 55. So we'll do that tomorrow. That way I'll have another case to open tomorrow as well. Let's go ahead and open this one, see what we get. So I've been lucky with opening the uh, single legendary Gladius case, legendary cases. They have been legendary. I think I've got uh, like three legendaries in the last week or two. Funny that I got the same legendary like two packs in a row. Okay, so let's start with, I was going to say, let's start with that. No, let's not start with a rare. And that's rare and that's rare. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen four rares in a pack. I mean, technically it's possible you could get five, but yeah, four rares is pretty good. Okay, Witch of Warwick. Paladin Rack. Cutter Breeze. Arella. And sorry, so four rares, but no Captain Katie. I do use this one, though. I, I like it for two mana. So let's take a look at our Gladius and look at the rares. Yep, so Captain Katie. Oh, that's all I needed, too, is one more Captain Katie to get that to level two. But Cutter Breeze is now level two. So he gets one more speed. That's pretty awesome for one mana. Five speed. Yeah, so next time we open a uh, Gladius case and get a rare, we've got a pretty decent chance of getting one that I need to level. I need one more Ajax, one more Sarius. So looking good there so let's head over to well let me collect my sps it's a little bit later in the day that i like to collect but at least on my alt accounts we'll collect the sps now so I'm getting very close to 800 and then we'll head over to yep just shy so tomorrow we'll go over 800 sps now I'll head to the $10 account, pick up some rares for Gedfer. I think I got enough glint to get three. So I've been doing a lot better the last couple of days. Early in the season, it was it was pretty rough. Okay, so let's get three rares. Not sure what I need on this account. I think there's a couple of rares I'm still missing. So we'll check Chaos, 
second and legionary because I don't know if I have all of them yet. Oh, I've got 200 left over. Let's pick up a common as well. Chaos Evoker. All right, so let's take a look at our collection. Not doing too bad. Chaos Evoker is the card we picked up today. And for the rares, ah, just need one more of him. What are the ones that I am missing? Okay. Huh, I still don't have the Dragon card and the Nomad. So those are the two that I need on this account. Go ahead and claim our SPS. I don't think I have enough merits to get a case. So let's check that real quick. So get buildings, go to the store. Oop. Nope, 542. So I got a ways to go there. Okay, so let's head to the main account. Once again, let's load up on some rare cards. So I think I'm going to do that from now on, is whatever rares I can get on my top two accounts, I'm going to get rares. And then if I have just a little bit of glint left over, you know, pick up a couple commons. So I've got 6,000 glints. So that should be enough for eight rares. So let's pick those up. And I do have 3,200 merits, so I will be able to get a Gladius case here as well. Okay, so we've got Razor Hound, Chaos, Commander Slade, all right, Johnny Rebel, Leopard, Continuum Seer, a Slinger, and Nomad. So we got a very nice mix of rares. Don't have enough for a common, so let's check the account and then open a Gladius case. Okay, so just check out the rare cards. Continuum Seer, there we go. So you are now level three. And, oh, she picks up phase. Nice. I think I've used this card a couple of times, but yeah, now that it has phase, definitely makes it more attractive. Uh, one more legionary. And I think that's it. So, oh, Razor Hound. Oh, Razor Hound. Reason I didn't level it is because I do have a gold foil of it. So I want to use the gold foil. So until I get uh, enough copies to get him to three, I'm just going to leave it single BCX. I don't hit the combine all button because, like, if I did, I wouldn't be able to tell how close they are to the next level. Um, I don't like them having this bar right here. Like, if I want to know it's level two, I can just look at this. I like uh, the older cards where it kind of shows you the progression bar based on how close you are to uh, getting to the next level. So that's why I don't hit the uh, combine all button in case you're wondering. Okay, so let's go to the guild. Let's get a Gladius case. See if we get anything spicy. Okay, let's open that Gladius case. And I do play the gold uh, guild brawls, gold foil, so any gold foil card would be much appreciated. Okay, there's Crash, Whistling Damon, Isgald. I use these two cards a lot in guild brawls. Hugo, I don't think I've ever used Hugo. Now, Rare's Cutter Breeze. Okay, so let's look at. Gladius cards, regular foil, rare. Nope, Cutter Breeze is level three. And our commons, you can see level four is pretty much across the board. 
Um, I think when this is 31 is when you can level it again. So got quite a ways to go. Helmet is the closest. What does he get at level 5? Just one more health, so nothing too exciting. And let's also collect the land. It's a little bit later in the day. Actually, it's evening now. I usually um, record this video around uh, noon my time. Uh, but it had a busy day today, so I'm not able to do it till it's almost 8 o'clock now. So let's go ahead. Let's harvest all. So now that I'm doing just grain um, in about a day and a third, I'm getting, it looks like about 40,000 grain. So we're going to collect the grain and then we're going to go back. We're going to go to the trade hub. We're going to swap the grain in region 43. So we've got 40,000, 601, 0.924, which will give us 281 DEC. Go ahead and swap that. And now, like I said, the question I have is whether I'm going to save this and go for some totem fragments because I have two, so I need eight more. And I can get another uh, common totem. Uh, another thing I could do is maybe save it up for some packs. You know, that would take a while. You know, I could get Chaos Legion. That's only 416. But I really don't need Chaos Legion other than the fact that it's cheap. You know, I could save up and, you know, get some Rebellion packs or uh, even Rift Watcher packs. I do need a lot of Rift Watcher cards. Uh, another thing I was thinking of doing, probably the top two things I'm thinking of doing is either going for... The totem fragments or going for uh, Chaos Legion gold foils. You know, I'm just trying to pick up a couple cheap gold foils. Um, I think the ones I need the most of are Life and probably, well, Dragon, but Dragon's not going to really be available for common. So probably either Life or Earth are the main two. So even getting like a, a single copy would be how much DEC well that's not too bad 151 so I could get like five but it takes 38 to max it out so um, that's kind of what I'm thinking let me know in the comments guys what do you think I should go for next should I go for um, some more gold foil common slowly get one maxed and then put it on land um, I do have several plots that I still need to fill or should I just concentrate on uh, saving up getting you know, eight more totem fragments and then combining those and then putting that on land. So let me know what you think. Uh, give me your suggestion of what you would do. I would much appreciate it. And I think that will do it for today's video. I'm going to claim this tomorrow just so I can claim at the same time on my main account. I'll claim this right here. And we'll wrap up the video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have another video out tomorrow, so we'll do uh, some more grinding tonight and tomorrow morning, and then I'll have another glint store by. Uh, collection is going well, as you can see. Um, I want to get those rares up to three and four on my main account, and once I get the commons to level three on my uh, my third account, then I'm going to probably concentrate on the rares. But it'll be slow going because I'm only going to be able to get probably one rare a day. So. That's the plan, so I will see you again tomorrow with another video, and until next time, stay the course, keep on forging, and have fun, and I'll see you soon. Take care.